Alrighty. Can you explain how to drive a boat well? Uh, yeah, I can do another one on this if you want more in depth. There's kind of a few ways to drive a boat well. The first thing is like get that person in the middle. If they are not putting the prop wash in the mirror, the per like to be a good driver, you gotta be able to check your own prop wash. If you can't look in the mirror and see that you're in the middle, um, yeah, we got some struggles. Don't bother teaching that person anything about rhythm. Just get the driver in the middle of the boat lanes and teach them to check their own boat path. Then when they're in the middle, there's a few ways to drive well. You can drive well by keeping the boat really parallel. So like when the skier hooks up, the boat racks into the skier, the driver then reacts, unwinds the boat, and the skier goes over the other side and repeats when they do the next turn. The problem with that is for the skier, it feels pretty bad. So what the skier is getting is the skier is turning, pulling the boat towards them, which is sinking them. And then after they've sunk, the boat's unwinding, like the boat's sort of coming up, meaning that they're getting a big slingshot out of that hole. And I mean, if you had that much pull exiting the buoy, it'd be great. But once you've already sunk in a hole, you don't really want the boat to hit you really hard. You can still drive well doing that. It just doesn't feel very nice. That's driving, you know, very straight, very parallel. And then you can also sort of start to walk the boat. And depending on what boat you're in, you do it a little differently. But walking the boat is very much about preempting the fact that the ski is turning. So when the skier is sort of getting that other hand on the handle, you have the boat already pointed away from them. And it's almost if the skier didn't hook up and load the boat, the boat was about to sort of run to the far side of the course. And so when that's happening, the driver has sort of pointed the boat away from the skier. The skier hooks up, pulls the boat sort of a little bit back around so it doesn't run out of the course. And then what that's done is given the skier like a really solid pull immediately. And especially on the short lines where our loading phase is so short, you know, we're loading from maybe two meters in from the turn buoy through to the center line and that's it. So, I mean, like that initial loading phase is very critical. And then when you're in that center line, um, if your driver is hooked up well out of the ball, it's really easy for that driver to then continue and drive over to the other side of the course, which also sucks because when you're coming off that second wake, they're going to have to come back this way and then you get a big slingshot into the next ball. So what you want from that driver after they've picked you up really well is for them to figure out a way to recenter that boat as you get behind it, which is a difficult move for these drivers to do. Like most people want to wait till you get off the second wake and have you, the load that the skier is doing, sort of drag the tail around and help them reset it that way. But the problem with that is that it's sort of, it's moving the pole at a point where we are starting to ride up on the side of the boat and we feel that. Um, but I mean, like when we're straight behind the boat, if the boat twists, that pylon hasn't really moved at all for us and we don't notice it one bit. So that is walking the boat. And once the driver has done that, there's a few options based on what boat you're driving. In that, If you're sort of in something like a mastercraft that slides a fair bit, you can sort of have that boat point back that other way and just slide the whole way down the lake until the skier has turned that next buoy and picked up and then you sort of repeat the process where the driver gets straight again but then if you're in something that grips a bit more like a nautique you'll generally have the driver sort of get centered and then stay centered so while the skier rides up on the side of them they just sort of remain straight they don't do that big power slide and then when they turn again the driver will sort of pick them up and recenter. it's a very simpler task something like a nautique um, alrighty. If a boat driver is struggling, what should, yeah. If, if a boat driver is struggling, put a full tank of fuel in it and a heap of weight and just deal with the wakes. If you're caring about your boat driver, you should be at a level that's sort of 38 off and beyond. And yeah, I imagine you'll be capable of handling the wakes at that speed and it's much easier to drive a heavy boat. So put a heap of lead in the boat, make sure it's not tail heavy, put some weight up the front of the boat, and yeah, just make the boat heavy. It's much easier to drive a heavy boat. Um, take your bimmy top off as well. That um, Yeah, bimmy tops are the nemesis of good boat driving. Um, give your driver a hat though. 